Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. I am the Digital Empress aka Taylor. So, as you guys have noticed, I have missed day 6, 7, but we're going to get all of that done today as well as number 8. The reason why I miss day 6 is because I had some issues again technical difficulties with my screen record footage I don't know what's going on um, I deleted some stuff off of my MacBook that I think was like taking up my memory and was interfering with me recording or you know doing my screen recording because I've noticed that my screen record videos of my MacBook Cali machine um, when I'm editing them they get glitchy in the sound and then for day six, it just completely just stopped showing the footage after like 40 seconds. I will show you guys that I had everything filmed. I had everything planned. It's just that I can't show you what I'm doing if I don't have the screen record on my screen. Here's all day six footage. I have all of this footage here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. This was local file inclusion and it was a lot. It was a lot. They just kind of hopped in and you had no objectives. They just hopped into what is local file inclusion? What is the risk of local file inclusion? How to exploit it? PHP filters. But we're going to be going through how I hacked it and how I got the answers for challenge six. We're also gonna be doing that for day seven and we're also gonna be doing it for day four since I couldn't get four up for you guys. So we're gonna catch up on day four, day six, we did day five, uh, day seven, and then we're gonna do day eight to day. Day six was so long. It was so much reading. I still have to take notes on it when you actually go to like do the challenges when you read and you do the challenges and you kind of understand what you're doing they're not as hard it's just when you look at it and then you see all the reading and then these long videos you like automatically go to oh this is gonna be hard but then like once you do it and you read the material it's really not that hard yeah i was sitting here like making things more complicated and not film seven videos for that so we're gonna start with challenge four. This is day four and this is where we are using Burp to fuzz a web application. Hopefully most of you guys were able to get here and do it and complete it. I know from on my timeline most of you guys got it. It was a pretty easy challenge once you did it but I'm just gonna go over it really quick so in case you had some trouble figuring it out. Here's my notes on day four. Basically just taking the learning objectives and answering them in my Notion page. So we're using Burp to help Santa get back into his account for day four because he didn't follow the password changing guidelines. So we're gonna be using Burp to figure out what his password is. We're gonna be fuzzing or in the process of using fuzzing uh, by running his username against a bunch of different passwords. Start the machine. Okay, we got our IP address. So the first thing they're doing right here is just giving you a example of how this works, how the BERT proxy works, how Foxy proxy works. That's this. Now, I know some people had were confused about this section and stuff like that, and they thought that it applied to the questions but this right here is what you're applying to these questions okay so now that we have that I'm gonna show you guys step by step how they did it really quickly so the first thing you want to do I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my VPN first thing that they did was started burp suite I'm getting more comfortable now the more that I like practice and go through burp suite next start burp we want to go to the proxy tab and you want to make sure this is blue make sure it's blue 
don't not this is not gonna work make sure it's blue so then we're gonna go you're gonna open up your Firefox browser this organization for me and you want to go to that IP address so mine is 10.10.122.71 and now at Santa's travel itinerary web app and here, this is where we're going to set up Foxy Proxy to intercept requests from this website. And then you want to go here, turn on Foxy Proxy, click the verb suite. I set mine to pink, of course. You can set it to any color that you want. So let's go ahead and do this for Santa using the word list that they provided us in the attack box, but we're going to have to download it in the Cali. I'm just going to download the word list really quick here. Okay, so just leave that there. We're going to go back to Burp Suite and we're going to go back. I'm going to X this out and we're going to go back to the proxy and we're going to change this to Santa and keep it as a random password so we could do the answer the challenge questions okay we're gonna change this to santa keep that the same and we're gonna turn on burp and we're gonna do login and then it pops up again so just if it's you have a previous request in there just drop it drop them till it is clear okay now we're gonna send this to intruder okay we're gonna go to positions we're gonna clear it out <laughs> We're going to select Santa as the first payload position and then password as the second payload. I'm sorry if y'all hear cartoons in the background. It's my kid. We got our payload position set, uh, Santa and password. And then we're gonna go to attack type, cluster bomb. And then we're going to go, don't start attack yet because we ain't set our list, okay? It won't work. The payloads and for si payload set one, um, we already have the admin or Santa's username, but I put a list here anyway. I just put Santa. You can put any random usernames here. So Santa, Rudolph, um, admin, can I press enter? Yeah. Admin, um, elf. And I guess we'll put hacker. Why not? And then you want to come here to payload set two. And this is for the password parameter. And you want to go to that uh, word list here with the passwords, the password list. And you want to paste that here. You can just paste it. Okay. Um, this was confusing me because these are different numbers than what we saw here. So I was like freaking out because it wasn't the same numbers. But they're probably going to be similar to mine. Okay. So after you set the payload sets. Um, okay, I see the payload count here is 15 and then the payload count we put 5 so it's 5. So after you have that, you can go ahead and start the attack. And then this is gonna pop up, just press okay. And we wait, per usual, because hacking is waiting. <laughs> we got baby hacker back. He's gonna hack with us for the rest of the night. We're gonna play with burp tonight, okay boo? Ready to learn burp sweet? So it's finished. He's looking at him typing. And I'm going to show you guys how you can tell which one was the actual password to this challenge? So you wanna come over here to length and you see how all these numbers are basically the same? That means that that's not the password. You wanna click length and this will arrange the passwords from any number change, like from highest to lowest. It's showing you here that the number has changed from 2548. So this basically telling you this is the password. So now we're gonna go back to 
the web app i'm gonna close this out and i'm gonna turn off the foxy proxy and we're gonna type in cookie login and we are in and then you get the flag santa delivers and then you come here uh the first two you don't need answers but they ask you what's the valid password what valid password can you use to access the Santa account cookie? And we found that here in burp. And then what is the flag in Santa's itinerary? Santa delivers. And that is found as soon as you log in. So that was challenge four. Pretty easy once you figured it out. I hope you guys understand what's going on with burp. Now let's go to challenge six yeah challenge six i haven't taken notes on this i just have two bullet points that i'm going to show to you guys and i'm going to try and explain how i solve the challenge as best as i can hopefully this is makes it easy for you guys and easier to understand so you can get through the challenge okay hi papa challenge six we're lo learning about local file inclusion and the vulnerability it is a web application vulnerability that allows the attacker to include and read local files on the server. What is the risk of LFI? It is possible to read sensitive data if you have readable permissions on files. One of the most significant risks is leaking sensitive data accessed by a regular user. Okay, so that's all I got so far. I got the answers to this one. This one was kind of difficult. I had to go through the video, the walkthrough a little bit. I just kind of clicked through and um, pieced together what they were doing. I didn't watch the whole thing. It was super long. But I do want to go back and do this bonus, which is the current PHP. Sorry. How to get your PHP code executed. that's what you think okay i didn't i don't think i took screenshots on this either because we had laughs right when i was trying to do this so i'm gonna have to just wing it right papa start the machine up i'm gonna just go through my memory and see if i can remember where are you trying to go I'm supposed to be learning child i'm gonna use this picture here to you guys remember i showed you this get this in your head okay because it's going to help you answer some of these questions okay. for the first question it asks you to deploy the vm and look around what is the entry point of our web application so this right here is the entry point here go back to this url what is our entry point here it's ERR or ER, if you want to say that. That's the first answer to the first question. That is our entry point. Second one is use the entry point to perform LFI to read the ETC flag. What is the flag? Okay, so you guys don't already see the flag, but how do you get the flag? Okay, so we're going to use this right here to view the, view the flag. And if you come back up here, it will show you. All of this shows you how to get to it. It shows you right here. Let's try reading the first, reading the ETC password file using PHP. So it shows you the filter wrapper. So this right here, this is our entry point, And then this is our filter wrapper right here. This is the filter wrapper that we want to use. But we want, this question told, tells us they want the ETC flag. So instead of using etc slash password we're going to do etc slash flag so you copy this right here and we're going to put that there and we're going to change password to flag and we get the flag right there use the php filter to read the source code of index.php what is the flag so they tell us how to do that as well. OK. 
Okay. And it gave us this really long string. Take this out. And you put index.php instead. So now I'm gonna take this, copy that. Oh, you're on the same page. And then paste this. And you get the flag. So that's how you get the second one. Third one has the, how we get there to the third question. Okay, see that right here? That's another um, part of the filter wrapper, that PHP filter wrapper that we're gonna do. So that was the flag, how you get the flag for the second one, um, for the third one. And then it says, Skitty forgot his login credential can you help him log in or in order to recover one server's password it says now that you read the index.php there is a login credential php file path you use the php filter technique to read its contents what is the username and password this is where that is um credential that's login credential that's the the hint so you can see creds here and you want to paste from the period all the way to PHP. We're going to do the same thing except take index out, paste creds there. And you're going to do the same thing, copy this. And you get the answer to question four. Is that four? Yeah, four. So uh, McSkitty is awesome. Or McSkitty and the password is AOC. 315 awesome and then it says use the credentials to log into the web application help mcskitty to recover the server's password what is the password of flag thm.aoc we're logged in so flag.thm there it is and then for this one the web application logs all users requests and only authorized users can read the log file use the lfi to gain remote code access remote code execution via the log file page what is the host name of the web server the log file location is at this path we're gonna have to use the terminal for this part this part comes in we're doing lfi to remote code execution via log files show you here we can view the logs of the server you just go you can actually go back and view the logs here as well, but it's the same thing, case, same address, and we can go and view the logs and you can guys see my MacBook is all through here. I want to be able to get this. I'm going to go back to Cali and we have to do uh, the remote code execution. Okay, actually we're gonna do the test. I didn't do the test last time, but we're gonna do the test. Okay, so after you press enter, you should get all of this. If you don't get this, something went wrong. You need to figure out what you typed wrong here. I was typing my wrong and it kept popping up as no. Once you have that, what you wanna do is log in. and go to the log access page, okay? Paste, and go to log access, and you scroll down, and you see that we have testing in there, okay? Testing has been put in there. And here it is again. Okay, so we've done that. Now, if you go back up, it says we need to pull this up, the PHP server information to be able to get the server name. Okay, so we just need to do the same thing that they showed us here, but with this PHP code. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, 
hopping. Do, 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 do. Go here. Clear it out. And I'm just going to paste it. Same thing. You should get the uh, HTML to go. And this is going to be a little different. You don't stay on this page. You have to go back and remember the first uh, filter URL that we did right here with the endpoint. You want to take this. What you do is we're going to go to home, log out, and you're going to be brought back here. And now we're back at our endpoint. You want to paste our filter wrapper. Take the etc slash password file out. And we're going to put the includes logs file in. Okay. Paste that there. Enter. Scroll all the way down. You get your PHP server information. And there is the second to last flag answer so right now i am currently reading on how to do this one i'm gonna try and do it without watching the video because i just i don't want to i don't want to okay i can't figure this one out we're gonna skip it i'm gonna try it again tomorrow and then show y'all how i got the answer okay but for right now, we're gonna skip this, okay? So now we're on day number seven. I'm really proud that I didn't use the video to go through this. It's pretty easy if you read through everything. Um, I haven't taken, taken notes on this, I don't think yet. Let me see. I think I have, because I did it too many. Okay, yes, I have. So these are my chapter or day seven notes. I don't, I didn't get this question, understand why no sequel happens. If you guys can tell me how I can answer this question. I don't know, um, like, what does it mean? Like why, I guess this, or how my sequel happens or how, I don't know, but, um, I didn't understand this because I've already done it. We're going to be using this, the NE, this means not equal to, uh, that matches records that are not equal to a certain value. So we're going to be using this to, uh, do no sequel injection to a bypass, to bypass a login form. So for this one, like I said, I didn't need any help with this. Um, I didn't read the video. I didn't watch the video. I just went through the instructions, took notes. And then um, I just did what they told me to do. So they told you in the first one that we needed to uh, interact with the server. So first we need to connect to it via SSH. Uh, but I need to change my IP address or I won't be getting into nothing. This might take a little minute, so just let it work okay that took long enough just want to click yes the password is try hack me and we're in now we're going to um, start the database so we just press in mongo it's gonna get you started and then the first thing you want to do is show database well, space that show databases and this is going to show you your databases um you do want to go through this to know what you're doing type everything so you can get the feel for how you interact with the mongo database the first one says interact with the mongo server to find the flag what is the flag so we're going to use flag db Okay, and then we're going to do db dot get election names 
And then, oh, sorry, not that one. What the? I cannot type. Vv dot lag. There it is. The flag for I think it's answer or question two. Yeah. No, oh, the first flag. That's the first one. Second one, pretty easy. Um, what you're gonna do is we're gonna start burp again. Burp is getting so fun. Like I think me and her are meant to be. Because at first me and sister girl just wasn't wasn't meshing. We weren't meshing together, but like as we keep, you know, learning each other on this journey, I gotta give it to her. That like she's that girl. Okay, so intercept is on. Now we're gonna do the login. For it, we have to go to the usually the web application is on the is the IP address that they give you. So I ten dot one let me put the HTTP in front of it to be particular for it. It's moving so freaking slow tonight. Okay, so now we're here. We're at the login page and we're going to turn on Foxy Proxy. We've got our burp intercept on and we're going to just intercept a request. Uh, we're gonna do admin, and then we're gonna do just admin. Press the search button, burp comes up. Now we're gonna use that operator that I told you guys about. Not equal to, so that we are able to do the login bypass, okay? Or no SQL injection. So we're gonna put that here, password not equal to operator. And then we're going to forward it. Okay, we're gonna turn this off. And we're going to get it in. And we are in. Okay, you just click flag and you have your flag for the third one or the second one. When you're logged in, use the gift search page to list all the users that have guest roles. So this is for the third one. So uh, we're gonna go to the dashboard again when it decides to load up. So we're gonna go to the search page and here is where we start using the operators in here. So they want us to use the gift search to list all the usernames that have guest role in it, okay? So let's do guess. Okay, so we have that. Just test it to see and you can see here when you search certain things, um, it changes this parameter to like username equals admin and role equals user. Okay. Oh, I'm so like congested. Hi, baby. Put guest here so we can pull that up. And actually, we're going to do the not equal to here. Okay, so now let's put this up and at the bottom you can see your flag down there. So now for the last one, use the gift search page to perform NoSQL injection and retrieve the McSkitty record. So McSkitty is an admin, right? She's CI, CISO, right? So we want to retrieve McSkitty's record. So McSkitty is her username and she is a C C I S O. So she is going to be an admin. She should have admin privileges. 
And you wanna press enter, we're gonna wait. Finally, this is the flag answer or answer for the last one. This is her record. And that's how you get that. Okay, so that was day seven's challenge. I finished that a few hours ago. My mother-in-law's house. And now I'm going to do chapter eight. And we got our nine day streak. We are 21 days away from a badge. If I keep hacking this entire month and I get my 30 day badge, I'm gonna be so proud of myself. Okay, y'all, it's 3 a.m. This is how dead I, this is how dedicated I am to becoming a bug bounty hunter, pen tester, whatever you wanna call me, okay? This is gonna be my life. I just realized I wasn't screen recording again. Wow. I'm going to come back with part two of day eight and day nine will also be included in that video. And hopefully we can do the back door um, from chap or challenge six and or was it seven? No, it was, it was challenge six. Uh, that's all I have for tonight. I have a lot of editing to do, but I'm super happy that I was able to get these days up and caught up. And I will see you guys probably twice today. <laughs>